Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. Over 400 videos on here. You want to find something, put Mark Savage in, and then what you're after. If it's on my channel, well done. If it's not, message me, I'll try and do it. Today's chat. Nearly all vehicles, sometime in their life, get damaged, okay? Whether it's a car in a road accident or a motorbike, someone falling off. Today's chat is categories, here in England anyway. Some people have a real taboo about this. And let me explain something to you. The old categories A, B, C and D have been renewed now. A is still there. If that's an A, it's scrapped. If it's a B, it's parts only. But the C and D have been changed to N and S. C is when it's had structural damage. So that's quite major damage and it is repairable. They've now called that S for structural. So C is now an S. On a car, that generally means something heavy has hit it. It's not just a panel replacement. On a motorbike, mm, I tend to stay away from Cat S's or Cat C's on a motorbike because it's pretty big. Cat D, which is now a Cat N for non-structural, they're the light ones. And let me explain a bit more. People seem to get quite funny when it's a Cat N. All that means is the bike has fallen over, needs some panels, scratched exhaust, headlight, little bits and bobs, depending, it can be quite light. But they worked out on the value of the bike. So lots of people out there are riding bikes that have had an insurance claim on them, but they haven't categorized it. And the reason being is because the value of the bike has to outweigh the damage done and vice versa. So if you're riding a 5,000 pound bike, you've come off the bike and done a thousand pound worth of damage, the insurance company will replace the parts and you're back on the road. When you sell it, the person buying it is none the wiser. Unless they do a HPI check and it will come up it's been an accident. But generally, not happening. When they actually class it as a Cat N, it means that now that's a few years old that bike and now it's worth two grand. The bike's worth less. You've dropped the bike, hit a garden wall as you're pushing the bike out or you've come off at a very low speed and it's scratched five or six panels and maybe exhaust. Now that's £1,200 for damage. Brand new parts, by the way. And they say two grand, £1,200, now it's a Cat N. And people go, oh, Cat N, don't want a bike to be in an accident. You can get the second-hand parts for these bikes or spray and clean them up, which I've often done with pets, and it's cost you £100, £200. The bike's back on the road. It's no different than insurance company doing it, but just not new parts. But people go, oh, Cat N, scary. It's not that scary, I keep saying it. Cat S's are, and if you get a Cat S or the old Cat C, Make sure you do your homework on it. Make sure you've looked around and make sure it's been repaired properly. Because they generally need a bit more repairing than a guy in a shed like me. I mean, you can just simply replace parts. Anyway, there you go. Don't be so scared of them. Cat N and Cat D. Here in England, by the way. I don't know what I've got in other countries and how they work that out. So I apologise. It's just realistically for England. A, B, C, D, N and S. Hope that's helped. Thanks for watching. You take care of yourselves on the road. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll keep making them while you keep watching them. <laughs> Too cheesy? <laughs> Ta-da!